Okay, so here is a look at the color blindness pedigree. All right, so what you have to do is you have XX, which we know is female, and we have XY. So when mom and dad decide to have babies, this is going to be their genetic um, layout. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take the XCB and put it in each of these two columns. You drag it down. And then the X little c little b in the same, so you drag it down. Okay, then you do the same for over here. You have a X big C big C, so you're gonna have it here and and there, right? And then the Y just carries over because there's no traits. And so then that's how you get the Punnett square. So then you're gonna have X X, so that's going to be a female with big C big B. Okay, then you're gonna have an X Y, so that's gonna be a male that has only a big C and big B. Then you have um, XX, which is going to be female, and it has a big CB and a little CB. So this one's going to be a carrier. And then you have, again, X, CB, and Y. So this is going to be a male that has color blindness because it is an X-linked recessive. So remember that the recessive has to have a co copies of the little guys. Okay, Any big letters that would be dominant, the little guys are recessive. Okay, so then this means that it's an X-linked recessive. 50% of their sons is going to have it, 50% of their daughters. Okay, will the carriers be affected by color blindness? Uh, X-linked recessive. Unaffected X will have normal color visions, and they do not have um, the presence. Okay, so with this one, we're going to have this XCB, this male, having the color blindness gene, and um, this one's going to be a carrier. Okay, but it, it's getting overwhelmed by the dominant. Okay, so this one's just a carrier. So this is from the study activity 3.3 if you need to review, but hopefully that helps.